Well, I'm all alone now, and I think it's time to keep reading my book. I generally don't follow mysteries too much, but this one's kind of interesting. Unbeknownst to her, it was the murderer who rang the doorbell. Oh, I must really be into this book. I thought I heard the doorbell ring. At first, she didn't want to open the door. Then it rang again. Wow, I just heard the doorbell ring again. My imagination must be going crazy. She started to get up from her soft and comfortable chair. As her foot touched the floor, there was a knock on the window. That sounds so real. I've got to rein in my imagination. The knock came again. She realized that her windows were open because it had been a hot summer evening. A voice came through the open window. Let me in, it said. Let me in. She turned to look at the window and saw a man's face. Let me in, said the man. Let me in. The man kept knocking on the window. Then she realized that the window was already open. Why was he knocking if he could just climb in? Surely he was a polite man not someone to be feared. Joyful, please let me in. Boy, my mind sure is playing tricks on me. That voice sounded like Patrick asking me to let him in. Joyful, let me in. It's you, Patrick. I thought it was just my imagination being so vivid that I was hearing the sounds that the book talked about. I'll let you in. I'll meet you at the front door. Patrick, you really had me scared. Why do you say that? I was reading this murder mystery. And when it said the doorbell rang and the murderer was there, you rang the doorbell. And then and then the murderer knocked on the window and you knocked on the window and I got scared. Oh, Joyful, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, I'll finish reading the book some other night. Maybe I should do it during the daylight hours. In the meantime, I see that you're still wearing your ankle brace. Yeah, but the crutches are gone now, so it's healing. That's good. Yeah. So what was the story about? Well, it started with a murder. Some man murdered some other man, and then he murdered a woman, and then we don't know what happened to him, but we know what he looks like. And then there's this lady who lives all alone. She lives in a cleared area of a forest, away from other people, and she likes to garden. In the town, 
The police are looking for the murderer. Then we hear that another person has been murdered. While they announce that other murder, the lady is outside working in her garden. Then she goes inside and has a supper, and when it's dark, she reads a book. Then she hears the doorbell ring, but we know that it's the murderer because we can see who it is, but she doesn't know that. But she doesn't answer the door. She's reading her book and she likes to be alone. Then she hears a knock on the window. Patrick, that's when you rang the doorbell and knocked on the window. You scared me. I thought that I was actually hearing the sounds in the book because my imagination was so vivid. And I don't know what happens next because that's when I realized it was you and I closed the book and opened the door. Joyful, maybe you shouldn't be reading stories that scare you. Yeah, you're probably right. What was that? that?